Hi, I'm Ray, G4NSJ, back again with a bit more info about the HRO. Now then, I've written this down somewhere. I finally found out which model it is. On the front, it just says HRO, which isn't a lot of help. It's a 5AT1, or it seems to be abbreviated to 5A1. I found the manual which is helpful so I can now start sorting out what is going on if you want to have a look at the manual if you go to uh, g4nsj.co.uk main menu communications receivers go down you'll find the HRO go to that page and there's all about it and the link to the manual is there so now I've got <laughs> the circuit diagram the layout I can now start sorting the thing out properly this has got Nine, 11 valves. All the HROs I've found have got nine valves. There's no model number here, which is odd. The whole thing is very odd. There are supposed to be top caps on the valves, but there aren't any. <laughs> it's, the whole thing's weird. I have discovered from the, the proper manual, the proper circuit diagram and the layout, which I now have, I've discovered that the, the valve here, was it a B36 or something? Um, that's totally wrong. It should be a 6V6. So yeah, just have a quick look at this video clip and then I'll, I'll tell you a bit more. Here are the 11 valves. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's the nine and then 10, 11, okay. What is this pot for? I can't find a photograph online anywhere with a pot there with its knob on. I thought that was the audio output valve. That, in fact, is a double triode, an audio type double triode. You'll notice none of these have top caps. OK, this one, that wire there should go to the top cap of this valve, according to the photos I've seen. Someone has joined it and taken it through a hole in the chassis there. Where are the top cap leads coming from here? There should be one here, one here, one here. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's going on. It all seems to be in one piece. Also, the valves, if you look here carefully, that says 6D6 and there, 6C6. Now they are UX6 type base valves. These are octal. So a 6D6 there would not fit the octal base. The 6D6 is a UX6 base. So with the manual of the circuit I've now discovered that that the one I thought was the audio output valve, that should be the 6V6, and it's a, a double diode, uh, no, sorry, a double triode, audio double triode. I can only assume the top cap leads have now been connected to the grids of the valves. They've gone underneath the chassis and to whatever pin is the grid. I, why has someone done this? It really has confused everything it really has i haven't done the meter glass yet that's pushed in the output transformer did i tell you about the output transformer that someone's fitted they've taken one side of the primary to the chassis <laughs> what the other side of the primary through a 0.047 microfarad capacitor to ht it's nowhere near a valve at all so what is an audio output transformer doing going from HT capacitor into the primary, out of the primary to chassis. Well, that's not going to work. There's no audio around. There's no valve connected to it. So we're getting somewhere at last. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> what to do? It's, I don't know about the rest of the valves. I've got to check. Now I've got to check the wiring on each valve base, see where the grid leads have gone, the top cap leads see what's happened to the base wiring has someone changed the connections on every valve base if that's the case that's a nightmare but uh, <laughs> there we are 
because I did put HT and LT onto this. Did I tell you that? I can't remember where I am with it all. And not a hum or buzz or crackle or anything in the speaker. Well, it wouldn't. <laughs> For start, there's no audio output valve. Secondly, the audio output transformer isn't connected to anything apart from the chassis. <laughs> Let's back on the floor over there now for a minute. At least I've got the R209 working. I love that. That's a brilliant radio. So what I've got to do is find out what valves are in there. They've been changed to 12 volt heaters. They were 6 volt, 6.3. So I must put 12 volt, 12.6. That's fine. But are they the correct valves? The output valve is incorrect. And it's not even wired to the output transformer. If I can get hold of a 6V6, I've got rid of all my valves when I retired, or most of them. I need a 6V6, get the audio amp working properly, get that sorted out. Then uh, also at the same time, check the other valves. Are they the correct ones? If they've taken the control grid leads under the chassis to the control grid pin, I'll probably leave it like that. Uh, otherwise, it means buying or getting hold of a complete set of valves for it, or the ones with top caps at least, and putting the, the wiring back to the top. I mean, that would be the best way to do it, to get it original. Once the radio's all up and running, that might be something to think about for the future, getting it all back original. But at the moment, I just want to get the radio working. Anyway, that's an update I thought you might like. To. Any, um, any HRO specialists out there, Anyone rebuilt dozens of these in, in your time, you know, so you know them at the back of your hand. If so, let me know. Ray at g4nsj.co.uk. Let me know. Email me. Ray at g4nsj.co.uk. I'd love to hear from you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll hopefully do another video as I progress. <laughs> or not progress. We shall see. Thanks. Bye-bye for now.